Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to give you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of April the 6th to April the 12th. Uh, in addition to this seven card spread for the week, I have added an oracle card, an angel oracle card, because the feedback that came into me last week was very positive and people enjoyed that card. Starting our week, Pisces, you have been given the Queen of air. The queen of air is about a person that you might know around you who's independent, she's experienced, she's realistic, and she's very, very witty. So this could be uh, a person, uh, a mother figure, a great aunt, uh, someone perhaps in authority that you work with. Um, but this, the message on this card is about um, an object, objective decision that you're making. And um, you're the type of person who is going to clear away anything that doesn't serve you or bring you any benefit. And, uh, it, and, and that's okay. So you're going to push that away from you. Um, and um, you need to, when you're doing this, if these things that are bothering you, that you're pushing away from you, you need to see a little bit of humor in that, in that situation. Um, that's for the beginning of the week. Now, you've been given for Tuesday the Emperor, and the Emperor is, again, um, he's a male figure, he's, uh, he's logical, he's, um, he's disciplined, and he does everything in an orderly manner. And this could also be someone around you right now, a family member or someone close to you uh, or a close neighbor or even someone you work with. But um, this message is to uh, use your logic and be uh, and organize things and uh, and follow the uh, the guidelines here. Um, this organization will make you feel free. And also, you need to know that when you're doing this, if it has to do with your work, you may be required or want to take up a leadership role. And know that you can do this um, because you're disciplined and you're that type of person. You're you can do this. So. The Emperor card is all about that, and it's about you working on some projects in your career right now. On Wednesday, you've been given a water card, and the water card is the page of water. And uh, it's about uh, someone, um, he, uh, could be a, a female or a male, and they're very friendly, and they're intuitive, and they're sensitive, and they're artistic, and they could be someone that lives close to you. Um, they could be uh, a nephew or a niece, um, again, a young male or female. But the meaning behind this card is that whoever this is coming in is a new person in your life and the relationship's going to move to the next level. And um, it's going to be a romantic situation coming into your, for some of you, into your life. For others, it may be a romantic love letter of some sort. So um, it, it is a, 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 a definition of a romance card for sure. Now there are other uh, definitions for it because um, it's kind of a dual thing that some of you are quite intuitive yourself and being a Pisces you know that anyway and you could be quite psychic and what this is saying is um, you're going to experience new and psychic experiences in your life and you're going to be sharing and tuning in to an increase in your gifts. You're going to be able to tune into that and share them with other people. Now, that was Wednesday. For Thursday, you've been given a great card. And this is a major card. And this card is the star. And the star is all about believing in your dreams and, and looking to optimism when you do. Because um, stars are shine. They shine and they're bright. And you have a bright shining future ahead of you if you do. Um, and know that right now you're right on target in your life. And you're on the right spot on the path with what you're doing. And have faith in this beginning because it's going to be prosperous for you. Um, and you are right now on that right path to be that shining star. On Friday, you've been given another great water card. And this is the Four of Water. And, uh, but this card's talking about you feeling like you're missing, you've been, you're missing an opportunity. And almost to the point where, um, 
whatever the situation is or this relationship that you, you are in, you're feeling disappointed and almost to the point of boredom. So um, it's saying that there are other possibilities out there for you and you need to open your eyes to that. On Saturday, Pisces, you've been given an Earth card, and this is the Three of Earth. And this card talks about um, you being creative and how powerful that is for you. And, uh, and, and being credited for some very high-quality work that you put out, because you do put out some, some work, great work, and it is very, very, uh, it is very high quality. Also, it talks about you being a team player. So um, keep that in mind uh, at work this week. If you're involved in something at work that you want to stay uh, a team player for this to work out. On Sunday, you've been given another Earth card. And this one is the Knight of Earth. And this is someone who um, who uh, is a middle-aged man. I, middle-aged, I, I say he's... Uh, uh, he's young rather than older, uh, but he's not as young as the page. The page is the young youth, the, the puppy dog stage, just going into manhood or womanhood. This is actually a male, but a young male, uh, the knight. And he's loyal, he's dedicated, he's honorable, and he's kind. And this is someone who you may work with. He may be in your family. He may be a close friend or a neighbor. But um, it's saying that... Um, the, the message that the card is giving you, this could be a person around you uh, as one meaning, and the other meaning is that you need to buckle down and get down to business. So, um, and you need to get things done. And being an earth card, this, this refers to me, the meaning that I'm getting from it and the messages I'm getting from it. It is a work involved and an employment involved type of card. So there's things at work that you need to buckle down to and get down to business and do. Um, and honor your commitments. Um, because um, obviously the things happening there that you need to you need to get done now. So those commitments you've made there at work, you need to honor them and get this work done. Now at the end of the week, um, it's interesting too because this is about work and uh, and that um, this card that came up is entrepreneur for the end of the week for you Pisces and this is for people that uh, the 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 ones out there some of you that are thinking of becoming self-employed and uh, and venturing out into a new adventure and a new path uh, spot on the path and know that you're capable of doing that and to follow through on it because this it's wonderful entrepreneur is such a beautiful word and it has to do with independence it has to do with going out there solo on your own and it has to do with you having the confidence to do that and be self-employed. I hope these cards uh, brought some insight and some benefit to your week, Pisces. And if you should ever want a private reading with me, uh, I do have a website and it is www.brenda tarot spelt t-a-r-o dot info i-n-f-o and that's brenda tarot info i would love to meet you and do a private reading for you and if you feel i'm the person that you would like to do that with by all means check out my website and read my bio i wish you pisces uh, a great remainder to today and a fantastic week ahead of you and i want you to know pisces that i will always stand in the circle of light for you